Hi, I'm Gavin and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on creating volumetric content for the Voxon VX1 using Unity 2017. Once you have downloaded the SDK from our website, simply drag the Voxon Unity asset folder into the asset folder in your Unity project. Before we start creating content, we need to create a folder called Streaming Assets and this needs to be located in the Root Assets folder. Okay, so let's take a look at one of the included sample scenes. When you open up the scene, you can see it in the Unity editor. And to launch it on the VX1, you simply press the play button at the top of the screen. This will then generate a simulated view of what the code looks like running on the VX1. Hitting escape again will return you to the editor. This sample scene shows uh, an example of Unity's built-in physics. We're using a script to drop some, uh, some primitive objects onto these little cones or little pyramids, which in turn trigger some audio files. If you hit the slash key, you bring up the Voxon menu, and then cycling through the various tabs on there, you can change the angle that you're, using, that you're looking at the, the simulator. Uh, under the render tab, you can change through the monochrome modes that are available. And you can also change things like density, which is the number of pixels or voxels that make up the actual geometry. This can affect the performance of the VX1 rendering engine. So for simple scenes, you can turn the density up high, but for very complex scenes, it's best to keep it relatively low, around about one. Hitting escape again will close down the simulator view. This last uh, example scene uses one of the Unity's free assets. This little Nathan guy who drops into the scene, again using a spawn generator. And so that's really all there is to it from a from a simple demo point of view. To save your, your demo out, you simply go to the file menu, build the project, give it a name, in this case test, and allow Unity to build out your test project. In this root directory, you'll also need a, a couple of other files which can be found in the assets folder. The boxybox ini and under, menu underscore zero ini, and just paste them into the root directory along with your executable. The final step is to create a shortcut to the executable and that allows us to pass some extra runtime parameters. The parameter in question is uh, called minus batch mode and what that does is it forces Unity to run the application without actually generating a, a graphical view of it because we're only interested in seeing the actual VX1 output. And that's it. That's all you need to do to create uh, or to convert your existing demo or to create a new one to run on the, the VX1. So the final step is to transfer your project onto the VX1. And to do this, simply copy the root folder where your demo has been created uh, and the test data. Put it on a USB stick and load it up onto the VX1. You can run it from the USB or copy it onto the hard drive. When you then run the shortcut, you should see your newly created project running on the VX1 volumetric display. Thanks for listening.